Hey, it's Joni Fit. A question I get a lot from people is, uh, how often should I do abs? Well, I'm going to tell you, you can basically do your abs every day. They're a pretty strong muscle group. Just change up what you're doing. So I'm going to bring you a quick, effective ab workout today. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so all I need is some space on the floor. You will not need any equipment for this. Okay, we're going to start with a seated tuck jump. So what we'd like you to think about is pulling your abs in tight. We're gonna bring your knees up to your hands. It's just like you're doing a tuck jump standing. It's a little better, right? <laughs> Do you like this better than the standing one? So I want you to think about keeping your shoulder blades back and down and using your abs to lift those legs. So we're not jerking our body up, right? If you feel your body trying to kip you, yourself up, can you bring your hands to the floor for me? It's more important that you're activating these lower muscles than you're going to the hardest level. Does that make sense? All right, so your abs are in tight and you're driving your knees to your hands. Oh, you're doing great. Come on. When we move slow in our ab workout like this with intention, we're really putting a lot of load on that muscle. So that's why, number one, you can work that muscle every day, but you want to go slow slow and controlled and really activate the muscle. Come on, we got this guys. Shoulder blades are back and down. We're only gonna do a few more, you're doing fantastic. Come on, come on, you're strong. Are you flexing those feet? Try that, good, good. And you're exhaling. And if you feel that little burn coming in, that means your abs are changing. How about two more? How about one more? You did it. You're gonna meet me over into a plank position. So turn over. We're gonna be on our elbows. All right, so from this position, I want you to bring your knees down and slightly touch the floor and push them right back up. That's all it is. Touch and lift, good. So we're getting those lower abs again from a different angle, right? I want you to think about keeping your neck in alignment. Okay, so it's almost like you're looking over a cliff, so I don't want you tucking your chin down Keep it elongated. We're gently tapping down. We're not putting any pressure on those knees. It's a light touch and back. Oh, didn't I feel good? You're doing fantastic. Come on, you can do short and effective. When you put in the work, you put in the effort. How about two more? You're doing great. How about one more? Perfect, take a seat. That was amazing. Okay, so for your next drill, you're gonna be laying all the way down. We're doing a scissor kick, okay? So bring your body down. Abs are in tight. Arms are to the ceiling, okay? I want you to reach for that leg and back. Reach and back, good. Good, think about flexing in half. Flex, flex. I want intensity and effort in that leg. Good. We're folding the body in half. So we're using your upper body and your lower body, which is going to really get that center chain, which is your abs. Great job, guys, great job. Okay, what can my advanced team do? If you're super advanced, don't touch the floor. OMG, try it. Come on, just a few more. Three, two, you did it, sit back up. Great job, okay. For the next drill, I want you to get back into that first position we were. We're gonna sit back slightly. From here, I want you to give me an elbow strike. You're gonna elbow strike back twice and sit up. Back for two and up, good. Back for two and lift. Nice. You got this, you got this. This is getting into those oblique muscles, correct? Do you feel them? I want you to think about rotating your whole torso. So it's not just your hands moving, okay? Whole body, good, whole body. Nice work. Come on, you got it, you got it. We're gonna hit your abs from every angle. Excellent. So your feet are planted and you're keeping your knees still, right? Again, for my advanced team, you can lift those feet off the floor, but if your hips start wobbling, put them back down, okay? So as long as you can keep your knees still. Uh-huh, come on. I'm here to keep you on track. I'm here to help you get stronger every day. Every time you put effort into your body, your body is getting stronger. Three, uh-huh, two, 
can you meet me back in your plank position? You're doing amazing. This time it's a high plank. Okay, so we're gonna put those hands right under your shoulders. Feet are extended. Okay, from this position, I'd like you to give me a toe tap. So we're gonna reach for your foot and reach. Good, you've got to keep your abs pulled in. Keep your neck in alignment with your spine. And if you need it to modify, you can totally go to your knees and tap, tap. But I want you to try a few up in your plank position because you are getting stronger and you don't know how strong you are until you try. If you're pulling your belly button in, it's gonna help you so much. So work on that for me. Come on, four, three, two. Guess what? You get to lay all the way down. Melt down, melt down, melt down. Good. Best part of the workout, right? Okay, from this position, we'll be working a Superman, which is gonna work the back of your abs, which is just as important. Once you extend your arms out, lift the quads, lift the arms. Now slide in, keep your hands right under your shoulders, and I want you to press up. Tricep, right? Melt back down, and extend, and lift, good. So we're sliding the arms as close to your body as you can. Keeping those elbows docked in when you press up. You got it. Excellent. We've got to work the abs from every angle, okay? So it's not just the front of your body. We've got to keep the back of your body strong too. Perfect, guys. Good, so your neck is nice and long. Your abs are engaged. Why don't you feel like your spine is very straight on this? You got it, guys, you got it. Squeeze and lift, drive it in, keep those elbows tight, and then press up. So I'm keeping you on your knees. I really want you to work on keeping those elbows tight to your body. So you are welcome to push into a full on plank. As long as those elbows are staying docked, you could press all the way up, okay? But I need those elbows in. Deal? Come on, you got this, guys, you got this. Good. Again, because it's not going to the hardest level that makes your workout effective. It's that you're doing it properly. And then you can go to that advanced level as your body gets stronger. Good, one more. You got this, guys. You got this. Press up. Ah, take a seat. Great job. We're gonna go on to what I love to call my favorite drill, the crunchy rod. Oh man. This one gets the full ab area, okay? I'll show you plenty of modifications. But you're gonna start nice and tight in the ball, and then you're gonna extend out. Good, try it again. You're tight, your chest is lifted, and then you extend out. Once you're leaning back a little bit, yes. Okay, so here's the deal. Don't go where it's easy. Go where it's effective. You with me? Come on. Pull that belly button in tight. That's gonna support that back for you. So pull your abs in right before you extend. And then think of something that motivates you right about now. Come on, exhale and inhale. Exhale, we got it, come on, we're doing great. Stay with me, come on, come on. Five, you got this, four, uh-huh, three, two, just to make sure you feel it. Can you do me a favor? Can you bring your feet together? Okay, good, can you bring your hands up? All right, stay there. Stay there, hold it, hold it for five, four, three, you got it, come on, two, and you did it. Okay, so it didn't take a lot of time to really get into that core, right? When you do it properly, with intensity but integrity, you will get stronger every time you do it. So here's what I think, save this workout, come back and try it again and again. You will feel yourself getting stronger and you'll feel yourself getting into those more advanced modes, and that's progress, and that's you getting stronger. So congratulations for starting, congratulations for whatever part of your fitness journey you're on. I'm just honored to be part of it with you. Thank you, see you tomorrow.